a crazy and criminal war of aggression. The awarding of the Triple Peace Prize is a harsh condemnation of Putin not only for his actions in Ukraine, but also for the actions of the Kremlin against the domestic opposition and his support for Lukashenko's crackdown on dissidents. Considered, in December 2021, the Russian Supreme Court closed Memorial, an award-winning organization. Memorial is one of Russia's oldest and best-known human rights organizations, and is widely known for its research into political oppression and the Soviet Union. Prior to, the Russian government had declared the organization a foreign agent. This is a label with a highly derogatory connotation that could imply additional state control and discredit the target organization. The sad state of Russian civil society today is a direct result of its unresolved past, Jan Rachinsky of the memorial said in a speech. He specifically condemned the Kremlin's attempts to smear the history, national status and independence of Ukraine and other former Soviet states, calling it the ideological justification for the insane and criminal war of aggression against Ukraine. It has become a change, he said. One of the first victims of this madness was the historical memory of Russia itself, Rachinsky said. Today, the Russian mass media refer to unilateral armed aggression against neighboring countries, annexation of territories, terrorism against civilians in occupied territories, and war crimes justified by the need to fight fascism. All the victors unanimously condemned the war in Ukraine, but there were also some notable differences. The Russian people will be responsible for this shameful page of history and for their desire to restore the old empire by force," Matvichuk said. Mr. Rachinsky described Russia's aggression against its neighbor as a huge burden, but categorically rejected the concept of national guilt. The joint work of the participants in our movement rests on an entirely different ideological foundation, an understanding of civic responsibility for the past and present. Chemistry, physics, medicine, the Nobel Prizes in Literature and Economics are awarded on Saturday. After his two-year COVID-19 pandemic hiatus, the awards ceremony was held at the Stockholm Concert Hall and was attended by around 1,500 invited guests. Organizers have won a record number of awards this year as the Nobel Foundation invited winners who won his 2020 and his 2021 awards but were unable to attend the celebration due to the pandemic said he attended Stockholm.